it's always nice to be around someone who's a little older than you. <laughs> Not much. 1969 football season, 70 graduates, anyone under Miami of Ohio. Cassidy Emanuel, great place before the game or any time during football weekends because college to the pros, the television's on, fine wine, good spirits, and folks, these recipes that have been around forever. It is really traditional Italian food the way we all remember it and nice portions too. 1969, what was it like to be in East River Pool Party? Well, there was a great tradition going on. I was very fortunate. Uh, we have been had three or four great seasons before my senior year. I mean, like great seasons. Yeah, they were. I mean, we played top notch schedule. Played uh, Archbishop Carroll from uh, Washington, D.C. Uh, year two after me, they picked the map of Catholic. Uh, Washington. So we, we played Davy teams. We played all over. We didn't, you know, we had a heck of a good schedule. The numbers, obviously, in this town were large numbers because of the mill booming, the pottery industry booming, and the band, big participation there, numbers on the football team. As a matter of fact, if you made the traveling squad, that was something very special. I do believe this town is making a huge comeback. I like what I see. Obviously, it was great to get that first win against Shadyside. But back in the 60s and 70s, taking nothing away from anyone, it was the heartbeat of this community. Football was everything from August to November. Friday night, no matter where you were, you were either plugged in on the radio or you were at Patterson Field or traveling with Bob. I can remember we used to have a big parade before the yeah. first game. We, we had the convertibles, I think, uh, I think uh, Mike Kirk uh, yeah. supplied all the, 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 the limousine or the uh, convertibles and the, the band would play. And as a matter of fact, the band would play from, now when I played my sophomore year, we started, the band was started the old school downtown and marched all the way down to the uh, stadium. And it, it was big. I mean, everything was just made up real big. We had our own blazers. Everybody got their blazers. And it was, it was a great time, it was a good tradition. And listen, and you know I'm going to show a little favoritism towards what you do here at Cassidy Emanuel in closing. But back in the days, even when it was Ferrellos, it was always a gathering place. Before the game, everybody came for dinner. They were lined out along Mulberry just trying to get in and talking about the game, dressed up in their blue and white paraphernalia. Still is a great family style restaurant. They got entertainment on Wednesday nights. Of course, I mentioned they've got football on the weekends and of course all of your favorite sports. But it's a place you can sit down and have a conversation and have real food that brings back a lot of great memories. And let me just tell you, some of my memories when it comes to this town and this place are to describe. They were truly out of this world. Now for Louis Valino, this is Rob Pratt. Thank you so much. Casa de Emanuel, 460 Mulberry Street in the historic East End of East Liverpool. Ciao. Good night.